Hi everyone, welcome back to online classroom Jekutio. On the screen here, you can see and read the topic of 1.4, which is the use of measuring instruments, accuracy, consistency, sensitivity, and also errors. This is quite a very big topic, and Jekutio is going to divide them into three smaller topics and shorter videos. So in this video, we are only going to look at measuring instruments. Before we look at the instruments, there are three very important terms. The first one, accuracy, consistency, and sensitivity. Okay, so what is accuracy? Accuracy is the ability of the measuring instruments to give you a value that is very, very, very close to the actual value. Let's say a pencil is 10 centimeter long. When you measure with an instrument that has high accuracy, it will give you the reading to uh, same or close to the actual value that is 10 centimeter how about consistency consistency is the ability for the uh, instrument to give you the same reading when you repeat your measurements so for the 10 centimeter pencil when you measure it the first time it, it gives you the reading of 10 centimeter second time still 10 centimeter third time is still 10 centimeters so that is uh, that means that this instrument has high consistency how about sensitivity? So if one instrument can detect a very small change in uh, the measurement quantity, that means the instrument is very sensitive. The more sensitive the instruments, the more accurate the instrument is. So for example, uh, instrument A can detect a change of 0.1 centimeter. It can measure up to 0.1 whereas instrument B can measure up to 0.001 so that means instrument B is more sensitive and more accurate because it can detect the smaller change so first of all let's look at length measuring measuring length what is length length is the distance between two points and the SI units we have learned about uh, in the previous video, it is meter and we can also measure them in millimeters, centimeters or kilometers. Those are prefixes that we talked about in our previous video as well. So what are some of the instruments that we can use to measure length? So a common one will be ruler and also measuring tape. And the smaller scale on these instruments is actually 1 millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter. How about we want to measure something that is a lot smaller or we need higher accuracy? We can use vernier calipers or micrometer screw gauge. They are more sensitive and hence they are more accurate. So let's look at them one by one in details. Vernier calipers. Normally we use vernier calipers to measure thickness of an object or outer diameter or inner diameter of an object and also the depth of an object. The smallest division on vernier calipers is 0.01 cm. A normal ruler is only up till 0.1, so this is a lot more sensitive. How do we read from the scale? A vernier calipers has two scale. It has one main scale at the back and one uh, vernier scale in front. So when you measure your object, we need to look at this little window here. Okay, we'll take a look at zero on your vernier scale and see where it lands on the uh, main scale. So look at, look at this one. The zero is a little bit after 3.0. Two. So the main scale, we have the reading of 3.2. How about the vernier scale? The vernier scale, each one is 0.01 cm. So we need to find the line on the vernier scale that coincides with the main scale, meaning they become a straight line. So take a look at this one. Okay. So the zero does not make a straight line. 0.01 also doesn't make a straight line. Oh yes, here 0.02 become a straight line together, together with the 
main scale. That's one straight line here. So we take this reading, which is 0.02 centimeter, and we add them up. Add the one from main scale and add them to the one from vernier scale. So 3.20 plus 0.02, our final reading will be 3.22 centimeter. How about micrometer screw gauge? We use this normally to measure the thickness and diameter of very small objects like paper and hair because the smallest division can go up to 0.001 cm. Okay, so how do we use micrometer screw gauge? Just like the vernier calipers, the micrometer screw gauge has two scales. The first one is the main scale and then we have the vernier scale. The main scale is uh, divided into 0.5, every 0.5 millimeter. So look at this one. We have 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2 2.5 and so on. So we take a look at where the vernier scale landed on. It is just a little bit after 3.5. So we take our main scale reading as 3.50 millimeter and for the vernier scale we look for the line that becomes a straight line together with the main scale so over here we have 35 36 37 38 38 become a straight line together uh, with the main scale so the reading will be 0 0.38 millimeter so we add up the two reading we have 3.5 plus 0 0.38 3.88 millimeter is our final reading. For these two uh, instruments, we have the digital ones as well, digital vernier calipers and also digital micrometer screw gauge. Okay, so for this one, it's very easy to read the, the, the measurement. You can just read your reading off the screen. How about mass? Mass is the quantity of matter in it, and also our SI unit is kilogram. We can measure mass by using lever balance and also triple beam balance. If we need to measure something with higher accuracy or higher sensitivity, we can use a digital one. The digital electronic balance is very common, especially in sundry shop or grocery store. Have you seen one before? How about time? The SI unit for time is in second. However, there are other units like minute, hour, day, month, year, and also decade. What is a decade? One decade is 10 years. Okay, if somebody come and tell you, uh, I have lived four decades, that means that person have lived around 40 years. One decade equals to 10 years. So we can measure time by using stopwatch. And a common stopwatch like this, the accuracy is about 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 second. How about when we need higher accuracy? A more accurate and sensitive instrument will be a digital one. Okay, this one we normally, uh, we see this a lot, uh, especially on the tr uh, field track. Okay, when they time the athlete on time that they need to complete their run, maybe a 100 meter sprint. A digital stopwatch can measure up to 0 0.01 second, which is pretty sensitive. How about temperature? Temperature is the degree of heat of an object and our SI unit is Kelvin. Or more commonly, we use degree Celsius which we see a lot more often compared to Kelvin. So how do we measure temperature? We can use a laboratory thermometer which has accuracy of 1 degree Celsius or a clinical thermometer accuracy of 0 0.1 degree Celsius. We also have a more sensitive and accurate one which is a digital thermometer. And how do we measure electric current? We can use an ammeter. And of course, a more accurate and sensitive one will be the one that is a digital one. Okay, digital ammeter. It has the accuracy of 0 0.01 ampere. 
How about measuring the volume of water? When we need to measure the volume of water, remember the previous videos, a few videos ago, we talked about uh, the different instruments or apparatus in science lab. We look at this, this uh, apparatus in the screen. It is called a measuring cylinder. Well, that's all from Jake with you in this video. I shall see you in the next one where we cover the second topic of 1.4. Okay, bye. If you have learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.